Intermediate Algebra, Mat 1033, Chapter 2, Section 1. First of all, this is about the title of the, the section is Equations and Inequalities Involving um, or Solving Equations, Multi Step Equations. Uh, first of all, you got to have a plan so any algebraic problem you get is usually going to be a multi step problem. So what you're trying to do is to take the multi-step problem to two steps, and then two step to one step, and then one step gives you your answer. When we talk about a two-step algebraic problem, we're talking about this form right here, where they have circled in red, where the variable number, 2x, is in the front on the left side. It's being added and subtracting. Something is being added or subtracted to it, and it's always equal to a number, a constant two-step form. The reason we call it two-step form is because if you look at it, first step we do is we subtract 5 from both sides. That gives us 2x equals 4. Then we divide by 2. We get x equals 2. So what I'm going to do here is in a couple of these other problems, I'm going to circle two-step form to indicate how we got there. Here's example 2. It deals with decimals. Well, we don't have to deal with decimals. We can do something with these to make it so we don't have decimals. So you can see the first thing I did here, we have 0.6 equals 2 minus 3.5c. Well, the first thing I did was take these and switch sides because we want the variable number on the left. Then what I did was take this right here and rearrange it. I put the negative 3.5c in the front plus 2. The O sign in front of the 2 means it's a plus. So now we are basically in two-step form with decimals. To get rid of the decimals, what we need to do is multiply by the highest decimal place. In this case, we have a tenths and we have a tenths, so the highest place is tens. So we're going to multiply this by 10, which gives us 6, this by 10, which gives us 20, this by 10, which gives us negative 35c. We can do anything we want to to an algebraic equation as long as we do it to both sides. That's the golden rule in algebra. Now, if one of these would have had two decimal places, like say this would have been a 0.52, we'd have had to multiply all of them by 100. So you're multiplying by the highest decimal place in terms of tens. So now we're in two-step form. Notice I circled it. So we're going to subtract 20. Divide by negative 35, we get c equals 14 over 35, which reduces to 2 fifths. Divide 14 by 7, you get 2. Divide 35 by 7, you get 5. Example 3. There's example 3. This again is a multi step algebraic problem. In this particular one here, we got to collect like terms. So the first step here is negative 4x plus 5x is x minus 1. 9x minus 7x is 2x plus 3. Always move your variable numbers to the left because you want the variable number in the front on the left. So I subtracted 2x from both sides, got negative x minus 1 equals 3. Notice I'm in two-step form. Add the 1, divide by a negative 1, x equals negative 4. Here's example 5. This is dealing with fractions. Just like with decimals, we don't have to deal with fractions. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at the denominators, 3, 4, and 6. I'm finding the smallest number that all my denominators will divide into evenly, which happens to be 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to multiply by 12 over 1 times y over 3, which gives me 12y over 3. 12y over 3 gives me 4y. Or another way to look at it, divide 12 by 3, you get 4. 4 times y is 4y. Take 12 over 1 and multiply by this minus y over 4. We get 12y over 4, which gives us minus 3y. Take 12 over 1, multiply times 1, 6. We get 12 over 6, which gives us 2. 4 will collect like terms. 4y minus 3y is y. y equals 2. We didn't even have to take this problem to two-step form. But if you follow the plan, take care of parentheses, collect like terms, then move everything so it's in two-step form, It'll work every time. Another thing you got to worry about is in terms of any algebraic problem, any kind of inequality or equality, 
is this. This is example eight. We have three x plus five equals three times x plus two. First thing I do is distribute the three, get three x plus six. Subtract this three x over, I get zero, I get five equals six. Anytime I solve an algebraic equality or inequality, and I get a different number on both sides, it's no solution. On the other side of the coin, this is example nine, we have six x minus four equals two plus six times x minus one again. Distribute. So now we have 6x minus 4 equals 2 plus 6x minus 6. Collect like terms. We get 6x minus 4 equals 6x minus 4. So I subtract this 6x or add this 4. I get 0 equals 0, which means it's infinite solutions. So if I solve an algebraic equation and I get different numbers on both sides, it's no solution. But if I solve an algebraic equation and get the same number on both sides, it's infinite solutions. You gotta know this.